everybody! I'm going to show you how you can make a wind sock for a craft to do at home out of a toilet paper roll and a piece of paper. So what you're going to do is take the toilet paper roll and line it up with the end of the paper. Sorry if you hear my puppy. And then just make a mark where the top of the toilet paper roll is. So you're going to make a mark just like that. So then you're going to fold paper on the line so that way it shows you exactly where to cut it so then this part is the setup for the parents so I would not have the kids cut this line because you kind of need it to be straight um, so if you just go ahead and cut on this line and then you're gonna save this piece because you'll need it for later so then we're going to measure it out on the toilet paper roll. So you're going to take it and then just roll it to cover it in the paper. And then once it, you want it to loop over a little bit. So once it loops over, you can just make, again, make another little mark on your paper to show you where you want that line to be. Again, we're going to just fold it make that crease for us to cut on and we are going to save this piece as well so then this is the piece that the kids are going to start the craft on so to decorate their um, wind sock you can use um, the dot markers that I sent home or if you have dot markers a bunch of different colors if you have stamps they can use stamps they have markers um, you can use markers for the sake of showing you guys how to make it, I'm just going to use stamps and markers um, because it's going to dry faster. Otherwise, you can use paint. So all the kids do is they decorate the paper. You could, well, this one was a little sun. They could draw some flowers if they want, use some different color markers, if they want to make polka dots, they can make some polka dots on it with different colors, just making it really colorful and spring-like if you want to work on the colors of the week, which for us right now are blue and yellow. You can focus on using those two colors. And again, you can use like the dot markers or paint. You're just going to need to let it dry before you uh, go to the next step. So this is what mine looks like. So this is what the kids are doing. So the kids are decorating it and making it pretty. And then you as the parent can take it and roll it up so that it's covering the toilet paper roll. And then if you have a stapler, some tape, some glue, I'm just gonna staple it so that it stays better. Right. Or if you have some tape, oh, I'm out of tape. So you just staple it so that way the windsock stays together and then you're going to put that to the side. So now we're going to work on cutting with the kids. So you're going to want to make little strips. So you're going to want to make a line, a very thick and visible line. And we want them to be pretty thin. So just drew some lines on the paper and then you're going to have the kids use kid size scissors, not the adult size scissors, um, and then practice snipping on the line. So the things you want to focus on when you're working on cutting with your child is their thumb is towards the sky. 
so you want the thumb to always be up. You don't want them to go like this. And then you also want them to hold the other paper, the paper with their hands. So it might be easier if you have them cut this way where they can hold the bigger side and then cut. Um, want to do that. And then we want them to, what I say is open, close, open, close, open, close. And then have them work on squeezing it themselves. So we cut out a few strips. The kids cut out a few strips because these are okay if they're not straight. So cut out a few strips. And then once the strips are cut, if they want to decorate these as well, they can decorate them, color them, do what they like with them. I'm going to color it because then it's pretty. All right, so now you have your little colored pieces of paper and you have your wind sock. And so these are just going to go in the bottom of the wind sock. So you're going to want to put them in reverse. So one way that the kids can work on this and their fine motor skills, let me grab a glue stick really quickly. So if you have a glue stick at home, Too. I'm going to finish gluing this because my stapler ran out of staples. There we go. You can glue on the paper sleeve just like that instead of stapling. So you can have the kids put the glue at the top, just at the top right up here, and then put them inside. And that's some good fine motor skills for them to work. So I usually say glue, glue, glue. Or if they're not going back and forth, you go like wipers on the bus, go swish, swish, swish. And that gets them to... Um, go back and forth, or you could say, um, the wheels on the bus go round and round, and that makes them make little round things with their glue. So you're just going to, again, keep putting these on the inside. You can always add more if you want longer ones or shorter ones. Once all those are in, you can, that's your wind sock. So you can hole punch two holes in the top if you have string um, or yarn at home or like a thread from a sewing kit, and then you can hang it. So that's a wind sock. Hope that was fun and easy. Let me know if you have any questions.